What's good YouTube? So today I'm going to give you a tattoo tech video. So tattoos is something I've always loved. Like since I turned 18, like I always wanted a tattoo, and then I always wanted a sleeve. And then now at 23, in the last three four months, I've got myself a full sleeve. So today I'm going to walk you through it, what bits, and yeah, how much it costs and stuff. Right, so. My first ever tattoo when I was 18, I had a, um, well first time I ever got paid, my first ever paid to, to, I got myself some stars on the back of my leg, so you can see them alright. So I had the top one first, and then later on I had the other two, so um, that was my first ever tattoo. It's quite a big piece when like, you stand it up, I'll give you a quick, so. That was my first ever tattoo. Um, like I said, I started with just a big one first because the feeling like as soon as you get a tattoo, you always think it's going to be dead painful, you're not going to be able to carry on with it and all this stuff. It's just like a, I think we all think um, when we get our first tattoo. So I just had the first one and then I quite liked it and then later on I paid, I think the first one cost me £50 for the first, the top star. And then later on, I had the other two done, and I think it was £60 for the other two. So it was £110, but it's like, it's a big piece. So um, and obviously it's not detailed or anything, but I think it looks quite cool. Uh, it's still one of my favourite tattoos, like, so yeah. And then after that, I had a chest tattoo when I was 21, so quite a bit later. Um, this is quite bad, so I'll show you. So this is it, you can't really read what it says. It's supposed to say, and the inks fell out of it as well there. It says, seeing the invisible, believe the incredible, achieve the impossible, be invincible. Um, that's a tattoo which, like, yeah, well, I'm not really big on at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. Basically, um, it was done by, uh, it got the same place as I had the other one done, but a different uh, artist. It was, that cost me like £40, the annoying thing that day. Also, like, there wasn't a car parking space, but there was, like, a spot, so I just chucked it on the end of, like, the row, and I come out, I was literally in, that took, like, 15, 20 minutes to get done, I said £40, I come out and I got a parking ticket, and that cost me, like, 60 quid, so that was a bit annoying that day. But yeah, that was my second ever tattoo, so I was 21 when I had that one done. Um, didn't hurt that bad, actually, on the chest, which I thought it might have. Um, then after that, that's, that's my only, like, body tattoos, apart from my arm. So then, um, about a year and a half ago when I got off my girlfriend, we had matching tattoos. We both had this here, which I'll show you this way. Might be easier to see. Uh, the little si the little symbol. Um, it stands for uh, faith, hope, love. Um, tattoo I could liked about a year or two. Well, probably about a year or so before I actually got it done. Uh, I was looking at little tattoos and I said, oh, that's pretty cool. And then I see my girlfriend just after, literally got together. It's quite crazy, really. It was together for a month before um, we got it done. So a month for getting matching tattoos, a bit extreme. We're still together now, so it can't be that bad. Yeah, so I had that done. Um, that was £25. Uh, hurts a bit more on the wrist area, but it's not, like, unbearable. Um, yeah, we, we both like basically liked it. I showed her, I was like, oh, I've always liked this. Like, oh, yeah, she went away for a weekend and she just got it done and came back. Like, damn, I need that now. So I literally went there as soon as she came back. Me and her both went together and I, I got mine. So she kind of beat me to it. Bit annoying, but yeah, that was 25 quid. And then after that, uh, three and a half months ago, she started on the sleeve. Some bits are not fully healed, like slightly peeling. Uh, I've just creamed it so hopefully you can't turn the video. Yeah, so I'll walk you through the sleeve. So, starting off with a full day sitting. Let's put you a little bit lower now so you can see it. So, so with the first, basically I've, I've wanted to start off with something small, but then after talking to quite a few different artists, um, like when I was saying stuff, that's giving me quotes, it seemed a lot. Then I spoke to this one artist, which um, I'd seen his work and he looked really good. And he also kind of half knew him from uh, a previous friend, uh, ex-boyfriend, like many years before. So um, I found this guy and then uh, I messaged him saying, oh, I quite like this a little bit. 
which was, so this was my first one here, this piece here. And then um, I said, oh, can I just get the rowers? And he was like, I can do, but if you want to do a full day, um, they're not that bad. Uh, we'll get a lot more done, it'll be cheaper and all this stuff. So I was like, no, let's do it. So yeah, I've got my first day sitting here. It's a shush girl. A clock, you've got a clock on top. The face and the rows. So a day sitting for my artist is £250, which isn't too bad. Um, some places uh, can charge up to like £450, £400, £400 pound a day. So yeah, for about a five to six hour session, um, for 250 quid, it's not a bad. I think like everyone else charges £60 an hour. So for like four hours, you're literally, four hours of money, you're getting like an extra hour or two. So that's the first one. And then after that, uh, I then went for my next piece, which was the wing. And I also had the compass done on the same day. So then two pieces once again, that's another full day session, so another £250. Uh, looked quite cool, but when I did um, have it done, it did annoy me because I did have like a gap from where that one finished and that one uh, finished, so I literally just had this space here. So it's quite annoying. And then, so in the end, like I spoke to my artist, like, oh, what's the, I need something to fill in there, you got any ideas? And he uh, recommended a sand timer or an hourglass, whatever you want to call them. So the next day sitting I had this, it's got quite a cool smashed um, part as well which I think is quite nice and as well as that I also got the eye which has got to be one of my favourites, I think it looks so cool, so yeah the eye looks sick. And then that was like the half sleeve finished and so it's like £750, that was three of the full day sittings then I started moving up to the rest of my arm. So after that, I randomly see him, like I was at work one day, um, I saw my Instagram and I see him put that he had a few hours spare. So my next piece I got was this butterfly, which is that. So that one was uh, £120. It, it took me about two and a half hours, but he just ties me to two hour eight. Um, so one thing, like if you go back to your same artist, they will sort you out. So yeah, that's two hundred and fifty pound. That's the place. That, that's quite cool. But it's got a skull inside it. It's quite unique. And then after that, I then went for another couple of hours, and I had a, my elbow done, which is a rose. It's quite a good rose as well. I like, even made it stretch. It looks cool. And I. Like, also he managed to took a few leaves around as well. Just to like uh, fill it out to make it look quite cool. And after that I then had a, I think I, do, uh, I had a day sitting, but um, I didn't fully take, I think it took about four hours and like that. So next I had was the diamond, her crown on it. I like the detail on this is dead good. And then, as well as that, I like to fill out some space. I had the rays. And then I also had my date of birth in Roman numerals. Um, the ink did fall out slightly on the Roman numerals, so if it looks a bit scabby, there's like one part. But yeah, so I've got, um, that's a slightly dodgy one. One, nine, nine, four. Obviously born in 1994. I, I had it that way instead of the actual full. 1994, um, like 1994, sorry. Uh, length, it's got loads of M's and C's and stuff in it, and I want that struck on it. So I prefer just to have the numbers like that. Uh, so it looks pretty cool anyway. Now I'll to show you the rest. So on to the rest of the back up there. After that, I then had the Eagle. But uh, that was. Um, yeah, that was, that was 200 that one was. Then I had the eagle with the clock. The eagle's tail starts there, up onto the shoulder. 
It's got to do with like the actual eye. He should have had a black bit in, but he was looking around and he's like, they look cool with the white. So he ended up doing a white eagle eye, which I think looks pretty sick. It's then brought it onto the chest, as well as the um, pocket watch. It says Time Flyers. It looks pretty cool. Um, definitely one of, like, one of my favourite pieces as well because the way it just like, finishes perfectly there, and then it goes perfectly onto the chest. Um, that was £250, that's a full day. Um, I think he just didn't get the shading in there or the banner done, but he did that on the next session anyway, which is cool. And then we did the sundial next. This was £160, but once again, the detail's crazy. Um, Yeah, that's what um, I've done next with the sundial. Uh, basically, I saw like, I like the clock theme that kind of, I didn't actually go for a theme, but I ended up having like a time and travel type of thing with like animals and shit or whatever. Um, so yeah, that looks cool. So, um, yeah, I went for the sundial because it's kind of similar. I kind of like got the, like the numerals and everything around the edge. Yeah, that looks cool. And then to finish it off, I had one gap at the end, which was here. So I had a dove put in. I think doves looks quite cool anyway. So I had the dove in, as well as I got all the shading, which is like, it's kind of like a sky type shading. This is a bit that might not be fully healed. So yeah, all the sky around there, uh, finished it off nicely down there. And then he also put in these um, pattern things here. There's one there, and then there's also one there. Looks kind of cool. So, yeah, so that was, <clears throat> and that was like the, I think that was 200 pound at the end he charged me. Um, then I, I like tipped him an extra 20 quid. Like if you've got a good artist, always tip them. Like art, tattoo artists sort you out. If you go to them like two, three times or like more, like I've probably seen like, the same artist did all this. And then, yeah, if you get the same artist, tip them, they'll sort you out. Uh, next time, I don't think I'm gonna have any more tattoos. Well, I'm going to have one more tattoo and I'm going to basically laser over this then have a design over my chest um, and I think it'll look quite cool um, so I'm going to have like an anchor and a map and it's quite a lot of other stuff more travel type theme so yes yeah, so that was my tattoo check in total for all my tattoos there chest and the one on my leg I spent £1,995 so um, like £5 under two grand. so they are expensive, it's worth it because I think they look so good. Um, especially going to the gym and stuff, it looks quite cool with a stringer, you've always seen it. So yeah, <coughs> hope you enjoy this video, this is my tattoo check. I'm going to make some more tattoo videos. So yeah, until next time, see you later, thanks for watching. Please like my video, subscribe to me and I'll catch you later.